Hello everyone, Chris here and welcome to another episode of Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Today we are going to explore this central lab, but before we start I need to grab some things from my car. Ok, we can start now. I took the necessary things like the scroll bar to open this manhole and we won't be using it anymore. Let's activate our flashlight and start. Oh, we found lab journal X. LXP. Interesting. This is the mutagens journal. Nice. This part of science lab usually just goes in a circle and you probably won't be able to find any final rooms in this place. We got some non drowsic of syrup. Nice. And we have zombie technician. Nice. Do you have anything? No. And we have our first CBM room with power storage, nice. For now I will just mark it on the map. And here we have library. Libraries can be useful, especially if you don't have that many books on you, but those libraries are not that different from normal libraries. Yeah, we found a couple of computers book, athletics book, but usually that's pretty much it. I won't be opening any more libraries. And here we have a autodog room, nice. And our first zombie security. A dead zombie security with tactical shotgun, interesting. Can I wear it? I can. Let's take it, just in case. Oh, this room is really nice. You can find endgame books like Alpha Book, which I will try to find. Unfortunately, no luck this time. We only managed to find this USB driver with Medisoft. Couple of boxes. To be honest, as long as I am playing this game, I never found anything that useful in those boxes. It could be either my luck or the loot from the boxes just suck. Oh, we have a antlered horror. Really interesting. And two zombie soldiers. Okay, that should be all of them. That was quite a lot. Do any of you have a grenade? You have one, nice. It's in the molly large rucksack. And you have also one, it's in the light load bearing vest. Molly large rucksack and light load bearing vest. And thanks to that we have extra two grenades. And again, nothing in boxes. I keep telling you, the boxes just suck. And this is barracks, okay, that's pretty good. Ooh la la, what was that sound? Uh, let's reload our gun, it might be a hulk. Yeah, <laughs> it's something big, so let's be careful. Let's try to lure him out. Let's put the safe mod on. Ooh, we have dispatch. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, can I kill you? Let's put it full auto and shoot. One more. And uh, this is the tear gas. We are fine. Okay, it's dead. And uh, this one will not kill us, but will be annoying for us. Yeah, we pretty much have to wait for a moment. Or we can just take off our helmet, equip a gas mask, activate it, and we should be fine. Yeah. Okay, it's dead. But there is still a problem of this room. What's here? Okay, what the hell? I could have sworn that something was in here. Was I imagining things? What the hell? Anyway, let's start exploring, I guess. The Silent Bodyguard. What kind of book is this? Silent Bodyguard. It's the piercing weapons. And facing violence. Facing violence is melee, melee book. Okay, that can be interesting. And that's pretty much it when it comes to this stage. How about here? 
And we have zombie soldiers, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so it was just this guy being really loud. Okay, I was shooting full out. Now. Okay, this guy has a smoke bomb in his army winter jacket. Give me that, that's good. And what do we have here? A grenade launcher ammo, a 500 round magazine for caseless ammo. Yeah, I won't be using that. A submachine gun, MP5. You know what? Let's take it, why not? Okay, we have more caseless ammo here. Oh, a lot of ammo in fact, nice. We won't be needing another rifle, let's just take the magazine. Okay, I can wear this Kevlar vest with free encumbrance, but a lot of ballistic protection. I think I will. I was thinking that it was impossible to wear Kevlar vest on top of the riot armor, but it looks like it's possible. FTBMG ammo, and that's pretty much it. I will mark it on the map, and I will come for it later. For now, let's just leave it here. Okay, for now it's already going quite good. We found more caseless ammo, which I was running out of. We also found a couple of books, but it's not that important. The only book I care about is the alpha book, and I guess medical book will also be nice. But for now, just the alpha will be good enough. We have a zombie bio-operator. Which would be a dangerous enemy if I was unarmed. We have zombie technicians and I have to say I noticed that the zombie technician's ability to take away your gun or any weapon was either reduced or completely removed in this version. They could snatch your weapon from you from pretty far away, just unrealistic I guess, so maybe that's why they remove it. We have another library which I will pass because I pretty much have every book I need and if I ever need more I can just raid a library in a town or something like that. Oh, We have cobwebs, spiders. Okay, I don't want to deal with those guys, let's leave them alone. And here we have Oxycodone, okay, that's actually pretty nice, and headlamp, nice. Now we can dump our flashlight out, we won't be using this anymore. And we have our headlamp, which is basically the cranial flashlight that you can take off anytime you want. I don't think I am imagining it anymore. I think that Riot Armor protects you to some degree from skitter bots. And we have a book, what kind? Lab Journal Dion, I already have one. Oh, here we have breeders. If you don't know about those guys, they are pretty harmless. Only problem is that they block your path. And the best way to deal with them is just to simply equip a melee weapon. We are lucky because we have this maze and just plow through. Nice. They won't attack you in any way, so you don't have to worry about that. The only problem that you can encounter is being close to this portal, I guess. And here we have a zombie scientist. And who are you? A batwing zombie, okay. A dead batwing zombie and another scientist. And here we have a secured plastic box with Bird Mutagen, okay, that's quite good in fact. Okay, that's pretty much it when it comes to this wing. Give me my mace, regenerate stamina, and plow through. And here we have Bionic Bolt. Cable charger system and internal chronometer. I will take the cable charger, but chronometer basically means that this is a clock, which I probably won't need. And that's pretty much it. We cleared the first floor. Let's reload our flashlight, dump out all the things that we won't be using anyway. And now we can continue going down. 
Let's pick a zombie by operator. We have two grenades, nice. We are getting lucky when it comes to grenades, which will be really important. My strategy for exploring this place is to go practically all the way up, like here. And then you just go either all the way right or all the way left. This time I will go left. Oh, we have a teleporter, which usually is not useful, but can be in certain situations. And we have another barracks, nice. Nothing inside this time. We have facing violence again, no thank you. The army bayonet manual, which is a piercing weapons. Nothing, nothing. Uh, we have a turret right here. Let's grab a grenade, activate it, pick here and throw it. Run. Nice, that should do it. Okay, it's dead now. A M2010 ESR Winchester Magnum. A sniper rifle. Okay, that's nice. I will take this for sure. Why not? But we have only 15 shots. But the damage is pretty good. 71 damage per shot. I'm happy with this sniper rifle. I will definitely take it. But maybe instead let's just dump out our shotgun. We won't be using it. And it's unnecessary weight. Let's mark it on the map. And I will come collect it later. I guess I will leave this sniper rifle as well. I probably won't find any place that I will use it anyway. Sniper rifles are good on fighting mutants and other high level enemies. And I don't believe we will find anything that our caseless ammo won't be enough to deal with. So for now I will just stick to the caseless ammo. And here we have another parax. Okay, I'm getting pretty lucky when it comes to those parax. And inside is zombie bio-operator. That is not a problem. Uh, nothing... In oh, damn it, a zombie soldier. Why didn't you make any noise, I wonder? How about here? I don't see a turret. We have just this zombie here. Okay, I have to say that's pretty little, I guess. We only got from this couple of faceless ammo. It's better than nothing, I guess spiders close this. We are starting to have some pain, so let's take ibuprofen and naproxen, I guess. And prisoner containment. I won't waste my time on prisoner containment, so I won't even bother. Only useful thing that you can find in prisoner containment are pretty much drugs, but I have most of the drugs I want anyway. Bunch of mutagen, 35, damn that's a lot. Let's just mark it on the map, mutagen, barrel, what's that? A zombie necromancer, okay, good thing that this guy is dead. If you don't know about zombie necromancers, they pretty much revive the zombies you already defeated and didn't smash. It can be quite annoying if you don't know how they keep rising up. But usually that's not too big of a deal to face against necromancers. What's that? This is the cigar box, nice. 22 cigars, what the hell? Okay, we have cigars for days, I guess. And another barracks, wow. We are getting really lucky when it comes to barracks in this run. And no enemies, at least it seems so. We have Indonesian Warrior. This is the Muay Thai martial arts, I think. Muay Thai, I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, nothing interesting here. How about here? A zombie soldier. Let's make some distance. Okay, I don't see any turrets, nice. What's that? Tactical helmet. Tactical helmet, average coverage, 42%. Hmm, 
What the hell, it's pretty much only better in ballistics. Wow, I never knew that full face motorcycle helmet is that good. I guess I can take this helmet just because it's pretty rare to find. Again, I didn't found anything that useful here. Let's just mark it. To be honest, I am hoping to find Barret Rifle in the Borax, but for now I don't have any luck. And we have the mutagen serum, nice. What's inside? Medical mutagen? 10 flasks of medical mutagen, what the hell? Okay, I didn't knew that you could find this. That's super OP in fact, I won't complain. I guess this is only in the experimental version. I wouldn't be surprised if this got nerfed, because finding 10 medical mutagen flask is pretty insane, especially early on. And even more mutagens. Let's mark it on the map. Oh, we have final room. Okay, this is not a drill. There is a Tylon right here. And what kind of book is this? Nothing I am too interested in. Let's equip grenade. Activate it. Pick here and throw it. Close this door. Did it work? Yeah, it worked. But we have to be really careful because probably there is more than one of them. Yup, here is another one. Let's wait for him to come a little bit closer. Okay, that should be good enough. Activate grenade, pick here and throw it. Close the door and he should be dead. Nice. We still can't be sure or 100% that this place is clear. But we should be fine. Okay, I think that's it. I don't see any more Tylons. I guess it was only two of them. And unfortunately, I didn't found anything that useful. If you don't know about this final room, you can find a mech right here. And of course the science ID card. And inside this barrel, there can be either a purifier mutagen or any common mutagen, but nothing too special, I don't think that medical can spawn in there or something like that. A nurse, a battery systems IBM, you can't be sure if the nurse is friendly or not if you don't have any CBMs installed. If you have some CBMs installed and it starts rushing you, then it's not friendly nurse, but for now we can't tell. But if it is, and we will somehow manage to find a doctor's badge, we can pretty much install most of our CBMs here. Okay, we have more man hacks. Let's run a bit. Advanced game design, a system approach. What's that? The computer's book. A pretty advanced one, in fact. Nice. Ooh, damn it, not you again. Leave me alone. Okay, I already have a PTSD when it comes to this guy. Let's just wait and think how to deal with him. I probably can just shoot him from here. He's busy with this guy. Now we can probably just start shooting. Okay, he's down. Well, that was dangerous, but we managed to escape in fact. Of course, it is a crackhead. Ramadol, nice. And another bionic vault with metabolic interchange, nice, oli generator, power storage and subdermal carbon filament, nice. Okay, that was pretty good to find. In fact, that was really good. We got not common CBM. What's that? Atomic coffee maker. Oh, that's pretty good. We don't know about atomic coffee maker. It's pretty much a way to boil water without having to worry about any fuel or something like that. That's quite good find, actually. It's pretty heavy, so I will probably just go upstairs and dump it. Oh, we found something. <laughs> a nanofabricator template for heavy combat exoskeleton. I'm laughing because we will never be able to find enough of nanofabricator fuel to make it. I guess this is a joke on the creator's part. A medical book, nice, really nice. Okay guys, I, I'm not sure yet, but I think I want to go medical for once. It's not so difficult to find the samples. Okay, I think that's pretty good. If I won't find an alpha book, we will go with medical explosion. <laughs> medical mutation, I 
wanted to say. We heard a explosion somewhere below, which is concerning to say the least, because what the hell exploded? Is there a some kind of robot with rocket launcher? There is one type of robots that carry a rocket launcher, if you don't know about it. I don't remember where you find them, but they are pretty dangerous. Only weakness they have is that they are quite slow, like Talon or Drone Dispatch. So if you are fast, you can just shoot them dead before they attack you. What's that? A blob. This is a blob room with glass, so you can see how many blobs are inside. If you don't know, blobs can multiply by themselves pretty much, so that's pretty fun. If we go to sleep near this position, then this place will be filled with blobs. Well, I mean this room. Oh, why is this open? What the hell? Okay, something came in here that can open doors and stepped into the goo pit. Oh, this is the broken generator room. Those can be quite dangerous because it may look like it's firing at random, but to be honest, I think like it's targeting you pretty obviously. Flamethrower, okay. I didn't knew that you can find flamethrowers in here. Taylon, are you kidding me? Okay, we have to mark it here so that I won't run into him again. By the way, if you are lacking some of the equipment for making mutagens, the best place where you can find the, this equipment is the Transcoast Logistics Hangar, I think. There are just a bunch of boxes that if you open can pretty much contain all of the equipment for making mutagens. And would you look at that, we found a machete, which is a decent cutting weapon. We hear mechanical wiring, which can mean that this is a final room. I just don't like how it is so close to the door. Let's try approaching it from this direction. Okay, what do we have? A water extraction unit, Lex alloy plating, nice, expanded digestive system, and integrated dosimeter. Pretty cool. Give me my grenade. Let's wait for them to come here. Okay, let's throw it, I guess. Some of them are damaged, one is dead. Let's wait for them to come a bit closer. Okay, that's close enough. Activate it, go here, throw it, close it. Nice. That should be most of them. And we have second final room, nice. The bad news is that we ran out of the grenades, so we will have to find some more if we will encounter even more of them. Another medical book, which I already have. Oh, come on! He had medical book again! What the hell? Give me my alpha book, come on! Do you know how little of a chance do you have to find a medical book on zombie scientists? Come on! We have another mutagen samples. Another medical mutagen, come on! Okay, now we have to go medical, I think. And we found a tonfa. Tonfa is a pretty good weapon, not because of its damage, because as you can see its damage is pretty crap, but because of its ability. It has parry ability, high blocking ability. Basically you can use it as kind of a shield. You can pretty much tank some of the damage that enemies are doing to you. And what do we have here? Another mutagen sample room. What kind? The mutagenic catalyst, that's useful, troglobite and rat. I will of course take the mutagenic catalyst. Well, I think we already cleared most of the floor. I practically only left few sections that I'm sure they are not the final laps, the final rooms. Okay guys, I think this is a good place to end this episode. We cleared this floor in full and this one in like 90 something percent. We found bunch of things already like some of the weapons, ammunition, bunch of books, CBMs, mutagens, like we found few martial arts manuals, atomic coffee maker, teleporter and that's pretty much it. 
we found two final rooms in this one, so in this one we should also find at least two of them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, this is Chris and I will see you next time.